Number 31. Which of the following compounds precipitates from a solution that has the concentrations indicated? And then see Appendix J for KSB values. Okie dokie. So in this cult, we have, uh, in this problem, we have two uh, cobalt 2 hydroxide, COOH2, and they told us that the cobalt concentration is 0 0.01 molarity, and the hydroxide, the OH concentration, is 1 times 10 to the negative 7th molarity. Now, from these two molarities, we have to find out, will this compound precipitate? And remember, precipitate just means that you're going to have a solid that's in your solution. So not all of your compound is going to dissolve. There's going to be some solid left over. Maybe. Let's see. Now, in order to do that, all we have to do is compare the QSP value that we're going to get to the known KSP theoretical value. And that's the one that we had to find in the back of the book. The KSP for COOH2 is 2.5 times 10 to the negative 16th. Now, if our Q value is greater than the KSP, we went over the limit. We will form a precipitate. Precipitation will form. That's a supersaturated solution. But if we didn't reach the limit and our Q value is less than K, that means that we're unsaturated. That means that precipitation will not form. And you could probably, I mean, you definitely can add more. And then depending on how much you would add, then you would become supersaturated. But in order to do this, we need to get a balanced equation. So we have CO, OH2. That's the solid that we're starting off with. Double arrow because we're dealing with equilibrium values. And they gave us the two uh, ions that we're dealing with. So cobalt, two plus, I see a charge, so that's aqueous. And then hydroxide, OH minus, that's a charge, so that's also aqueous. Let's balance. Uh, I see that I have two hydroxides here, so I just need to put a two in front of the OH. And now I'm going to just put down the values that they gave us. The cobalt was 0 0.01 molarity. And the hydroxide was 1 times 10 to the negative 7th. Don't be tempted to times it by 2 because you see a 2 in the balanced equation. This is the concentration that you have, no more, no less. That's for all of the OH minuses in the solution. The 2 is just in terms of the balanced equation. So this would be still 1 times 10 to the negative 7th molarity. Okay, so we're going to use this equation to find out our Q value. And the QSP is the same equation as the KSP. So it's just equal to those products, right? Raise to the coefficients. So let's see, QSP equals concentration of CO, two plus, times the concentration of the OH minus. We're going to raise the hydroxide to the second power because I see that I have a two in front of the OH. We always have to raise it to the coefficients. There is a one in front of the cobalt, but you could raise this to the first, but that's the same as not writing anything. Okay, so the cobalt was 0 0.01, and the hydroxide was 1 times 10 to the negative 7th. Let's plug those values in. So QSP equals, let's see, we get 0 0.01 times 1 times 10 to the negative 7th, and that one has to be squared. So I'm just going to plug this into the calculator in one shot. You could do it in each individual step. Let's see if we get the same answer. So 1 times 10 to the negative second, square that guy, times it by 0 0.01. I get 1 times 10 to the negative 16th. So now I'm just going to set up a little, uh, you know, a, not really a chart, but I'm just going to compare the two values. I'm going to say, okay, the QSP value that I found was 1 times 10 to the negative 16th, and the KSP value that we found at the back of the book is 2.5 times 10 to the negative 16th. Now, first things first is always look at those exponents, because if the exponents are different, that's the only thing that you have to look at to see if the number is bigger or smaller, which one is bigger or smaller. But here, the exponents are the same. They're both 10 to the negative 16th. So you just have to look at the first number in the front. One is less than 2.5, or you can say 2.5 is greater than one, right? So my arrow should be going towards the KSP. The QSP value is less than the KSP. 
So we didn't reach our limit. We're over here. And if the QSP is less than the KSP, that means that you will not form a precipitate. Precipitation will not occur, will not form. So in this case, no precipitate. No solid that's going to be formed because we are still a unsaturated uh, solution. And you could add more. And then, you know, at one point, you will add so much that there will be a precipitate. But not here, not with these values. Okie dokie. I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Love talking to you guys. I hope you have a great day. And let's keep studying hard. Good luck on your future tests and quizzes. And I will talk to you all later. Bye-bye.